hello student welcome to online tutorial session uh, in this today's uh, sessions uh, again i will do uh, one more lab activity from chapter number four that is more about ms excel okay so today um, i will prepare a chart that is a column chart okay previous lecture session i have explained that how you can do the um, line chart and this time we will prepare a chart on the column chart okay so uh, they have given some data to us that is a monthly expenses they have given and uh, month values in january the expensive in percentage they have given okay uh, january to me they have given some percentage to us and uh, according to that we have to depict the column chart okay so uh, let's start with it so first i'm writing the month uh, over here the heading part mm. okay from here because i have to give a heading also monthly expenses that's why first row i am not using okay uh, from the starting from the second row expenses will be not fitted in the cells that's why i've changed the cell width okay expenses they have uh, given us in the percentage value so we will consider it in the percentage part okay now uh, this two cell i have selected and i will do the uh, margin setting option margin center okay initially take plus first uh, put the value then i will do the okay january after january the monthly expenses is 17 percent next is february the expenses is 18 next is march the expenses is 30 30 Next is April. Expenses is twenty six. And next is me. And the expenses is uh, nine. Okay. So this is done. Now let's march this to field first. So go under home. We will do margin center. And we will write it down directly that is monthly X expenses. Okay. copy it we have to write down because okay written and here I have written because that is not required okay monthly expenses is done and we have to depict it uh, through the column chart so you know the procedure is that that whichever is a data series is there you have to select the data series first then under the we have to go to the insert tab and under the insert tab we have to find out the option called chart so as soon as you click on chart there are several options are there so here in the question they have written that we have to make a column chart through this so I am preparing a column chart over here. So there are three different options of a column chart is available. Okay. So whichever you want to display, you can select. Uh, let's see. I want uh, this type of chart. Okay. As I want this type of chart, I am keep the chart over here. Okay. If I if I can, you can show it over here. You can see this one okay 
so month of uh, january sale you are able to see month of february sale month of march sale month of april sale and may sale okay so you can can click on the chart title and uh, you can delete it okay can if you can delete then hold will be deleted uh, suppose you have made in mistakes and uh, that there is a undo option is there if you can come with the undo option automatically again it will be uh, uh, back to your main skins so don't need to worry about it okay so this is done so another table is there uh, uh, we can show it to you depending upon the different data okay so this is part of this one another assignment is there there is a short order they have given okay so let's uh, check for this this one i am deleting this one okay and as well as over here i am changing for the new one it is written Career summer camp. The summer camp at school. The head boy is created a worksheet with the number of t-shirts that are required to be brought in different sites. So we have to create a worksheet uh, similar uh, or follows that uh, we have to name of the camping number of t-shirts and different different sizes. Okay, so I have given this name instead of month. Uh, say suppose I will give it a value as size. And here in, in case of expenses, let's see this, I have given a number, okay. Now, instead of January, quickly, that is small, size is small, okay. Number is 16, so I'm erasing and making the number, making the number 16. Next one is... February is there instead of raising February and make it it medium okay now the value is 9 now this is large okay and the value is 19 and next one is x large x l or you can say it and the value is 10 i have written 10 over here also that then I'm raising. So my data part is already you're able to see my data part is done. Now it's time for the making the table part. So I have selected my table. Okay. As you can see, I have selected my table. So what you have to do that I have to choose from the style part. Okay. Then go to the insert tab there is a chart option is that this time i have i will show you the pie chart part okay as this chart is not fully visible okay so let's we try with a uh, another chart okay I don't know what is wrong with this uh, let's start with uh, another chart that is pie chart I have shown already okay bar chart I have given with a bar chart also so in this way you can prepare the pie chart also and the column chart also I hope it is clear thank you student I'm ending my lecture over here